want to go to King's View Asset Management CIO Scott Martin on on investors' reaction to this trade tariff. You know, Scott, we just had a discussion here um, with uh, the, the brilliant James Freeman, Jonas Max Ferris, and Susan Lee. And, you know, I keep hearing people saying, well, the market is sideways or this, but only the Dow, really, of your major equity indices has moved sideways. And there are other indices that have done pretty well. And, and to me, it suggests that maybe, you know, listen, it, this is certainly an issue for the multinationals. It's an issue for the Boeings of the world. But maybe it's not an issue for companies that do a lot of business here in the United States mostly. Yeah, I agree, Charles. You know, it is an issue for the industrials. Great panel, by the way. A very esteemed uh, set you had there. And, and you guys nailed it. I mean, it's, it's a big deal for the industrials, the manufacturers, the materials producers. But like you said, man, maybe not so much for the small caps, maybe not so much for our big tech companies. And, and that's one thing for us at Kingsview uh, that's keeping us, say, in the water here is that, you know, in a matter of weeks, Charles, I mean, gosh, two weeks from now or so, at the end of that following week, we're going to have all the tech earnings out. So you're going to have the Facebooks, the Googles, the Apples, the Microsofts, the Amazons, all delivering numbers that I think are going to be absolutely blockbuster and therefore supporting stock prices. Before we get to those, though, Scott, we have to deal with these bank numbers on uh, Friday. And you yeah. got four banks. All of them were down coming into today's session. Uh, PNC, I think, down 6 percent. Citigroup is looking horrific. Uh, uh, J.P. Morgan, not as bad. Uh, Wells Fargo down a lot this year. I mean, they can set the tone, and, and people are wondering because all the experts, at least the majority of them, came into this year saying this was going to be the year for financials. What's <laughs> going wrong? I agree, man. And it's funny. I mean, everybody's loved the financials certainly too much this year, and they loved them recently. I mean, yes, coming into this year, Charles, they were very sanguine as far as the, the optimism on financials. But even last year, to some degree, you know, the big turn was coming in financials, and we just didn't see it. Um, you know, they've just been really inconsistent. I mean, some of the loan growth is good, but the, the, the margins aren't great, you know, as far as what they're getting the money for versus what they're lending it out to us for. Um, and the fact that I think, too, the interest the interest rate picture is not all that clear. I don't think it's a guarantee that the interest rate curve is going to steepen any further. In fact, it's flattening out, so that's hurting the banks. So I I'm sticking with things that are working for our portfolios, which remains tech, because, gosh, Charles, you know, at the end of the day, and I admittedly do this as well, um, I search for something on Google, I buy it on Amazon, and I brag about it on Facebook or Instagram. And so those are the companies I want to be in, because those are the places that are going to grow. So you're the guy out there making those uh, millennials feel inferior. With yeah, your, I am. Somebody's got to do that jet on Instagram. I mean, come on, man. Somebody's got to do that. Now, it, it's just a jet that I saw on the runway, but they don't know that. Now, here's the other thing, too, Charles. You know, if you think about the market as a whole, you know, we're supposed to get earnings growth at about 20 percent when we're all said and done with this earnings quarter. And at, say, $175 in the S&P 500 of earnings, which you'll appreciate, let's put a 17 or so multiple on that. Uh, my quick math says that that's almost 3,000 on the S&P. So it's certainly within range that after we get through this earnings season and maybe this trade talk settles out a a little bit you could see the market get a nice boost to it all right scott martin my man talk to you again real soon thanks